All right, I'm I'm barely I'm barely alive right now. I'm I'm dying from the heat. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I probably need to go shower right now because I w I took a small nap, like a 30 minute nap. I I woke up and I was so so sweaty. Yeah, I'm I'm actually melting right now. <laughs> And uh, I'm sorry for the fact that like I am streaming like super super late right now because you know normally e even for me like I will stream like usually around 11:30 but uh, I've been doing I've been busy with a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> Go shower right now. I, I can I can if I shower right now I'm literally going to wake up even more and you know I don't wanna I don't wanna like stay up longer than I have to. I'm no <laughs> no not skunk gaming. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, this is probably just gonna be a short-ish stream because wait, oh wait, hold on. There we go. So yeah, this is probably gonna be a like short-ish type of stream because uh, I don't know how long this game will be, and also I'm planning not to stay up that long because I do have to do some stuff tomorrow. But you know, I figured well, <laughs> I'm awake right now. I might as well do some some funny gaming, and I figured that the best way to do that. <laughs> Uh, would be probably do some more funny liminal space like walking sims so we're gonna be playing within the back rooms which is literally just a like, random game that i found on on steam that i got on the steam sale i i was planning on playing like other like games but i didn't want to like i didn't want to do like a last minute stream playing something that i was gonna play for a long time so you know one of the options is probably gonna be like muse dash or uh, final fantasy but you know Muse Dash, I kind of want to play like for a decent amount because you know when you play rhythm games, then it's gonna be you know you, you get into the mood of it. And for Final Fantasy, you know obviously that's Final Fantasy, and you don't want to you don't want to like last minute guerrilla like a long term game like that. Yeah. So you know with indie games, the cool thing about them is that since they're usually pretty short, you can just pick them up and play, which is <laughs> you know the whole reason of my being. Where since you know I don't usually announce my streams like far in advance i usually just tend to play you know mostly mostly indie games isn't elena an indie game yeah but like elena is like just like one of those games that you just also sort of pick up and play i mean i always like last minute announce elena so it's not like i don't <laughs> it's not like a long-term game where you have to like pay attention to the lore like in like in final fantasy that's pretty much true like yeah um <laughs> I, if you haven't noticed, sure, I'm, I, I'm pretty much always playing like these types of back rooms, liminal space, like types of games. I'm actually waiting on like, what was it called? Um, Animoiopolis Chapter Two, whenever that comes out, and the back rooms lost tapes. Those are the two games that I'm really, really hoping that will probably, hopefully, get a new update soon-ish. I actually saw a lot of like mall type horror slash liminal space games that I do want to check out like later on in advance but <laughs> you know that's a they're like on itch.io and I have to like do some do some research on them they look really really cool but uh depending on how long they are if they're like shorter games maybe I'll just do like do a compilation stream where I play like a bunch of smaller indie games indie horror games all at once and then we'll see what happens with there because if it's just gonna be a short game then it's gonna be like oh shit <laughs> But yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go straight into it then. So this is, like I said, this is within the back rooms, and it's supposed to be a '90s style exploration, like liminal space game. It's not very, very like horror esque, from what I understand. It's more just like uh, exploring dreamscapes, basically. So it's sort of similar to like Hypnagogia. So let's go switch over there. Also, there will be some like weird static noise, but that's only because it's like in the the intro portion from what I understand. I really really hope that it's not, not gonna be really stupid on an OBS, hopefully. Tell me if it is. So let's go ignore the background static and <laughs> get straight into it. Yeah that's what I really like. The idea of like staying in a mall like when it's like empty. I talked about it before how I wanted to like go to like a dead mall at one point or another and just like do some exploration. This is supposed to like capture like that feeling, because I listen to um a lot of. <laughs> Wait, is the audio fine? Is it too loud? Let me know if it's uh, too loud or too soft. Is this the Windows 98 May screensaver? Basically, so 
this isn't gonna be like you know funny funny stuff chasing you this is mostly just gonna be like a it was like 90s retro games i guess that you'd like you explore around with those types of graphics was still until a liminal game mm, not really i mean the I think the idea with Silent Hill was that it was like a horror game, but Liminal Space wasn't really like a concept or an idea back then, you know? Yeah, go shower right now if you guys have to. Whoa. Oh my god. Can't even see the bottom of that. Don't think... Oh wait, they did say that there were like supposed to be like hidden pathways in this game, and there's supposed to be like a bunch of different multiple endings. So maybe this is one of them? Nope, guess not. <laughs> no. Oh wait, wait, maybe I can? No, I can't. The music for this game is also really, really nice too. It's very, very like dreamy, but it's not like, you know, too surreal. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of like you and Nikki. Fall in? I can't. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's an invisible barrier, but you can't even see the bottom of that. This kind of looks like it would be a hidden path. Maybe I can't go here yet. I don't know, I just really like the idea of, like, exploring dreamscapes. That's why I play a lot of these games. I'm probably going to plan a an LSD dream simulator, like, stream at one point or another, because I'm pretty sure that game would be right up my alley. And yeah, this game is basically like a, a modern art exhibit, kind of- Wait, wasn't there a, uh, there was like a- There was a 90s game or 2000s game, right? Where it was literally like a museum? You, it was like a PC game, right? And it was a museum, and you just walk around, and it was really, really weird. I think Vinny Vinesauce, like, did that game. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Card? Okay. Whoa. Uh... You know, <laughs> they did. I did say that this game was supposed to be not sco not spooky, but I don't like the fact that they took away from the from the ambient music. QT, was it? No, no, it was like um, I forgot what it was called. But there was like a there was a portion in the game I think where they thought that it would show like a real life dead body in the game, uh, and it was like really really like weird because they had to like censor it in the video in the YouTube video. I forgot what it was called. It was like something, something museum, something art exhibitor, something museum. But I really wanted to check that game out too because, um, I mean, obviously that thing was like fake. Uh, it was, I mean, it wasn't fake, but it wasn't um real. The dead body wasn't real. Uh, it just looked convincing enough uh, that he thought it was. Ooh, crowbar, crowbar. Nice. Oh, elevator key. Okay. Oh my god, it even has the, uh... Is this Windows 98? This is like Windows 98, isn't it? It's not 2000. It's not XP, obviously. Probar, elevator key. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Master volume. Specs volume. Item toggle. Item swap. Okay. What was, what's this DOS called? Windows 2000? Oh, it is Windows 2000. Windows 2000 was before... Before um, XP, right? You can sprint. I'm pretty sure he added sprint... Um, po Whoa. Whoa. Can I go up here? Mm, no, I can't. After 98, before XP. So yeah, this does like capture the idea of like the 98th or the 2000s, late, late 90s, early 2000s era of PC gaming, I guess. I used to stay at my old school and it was mostly empty and thought the idea of someone hiding in a room so far away I couldn't hear them freak me out in an arbitrary way. Too much enclosed space. Isn't, wouldn't enclosed space be like the opposite of like a liminal space though? Can I, can I use this? Hold on, elevator key. Nothing? Okay. No, but I get I get the idea though, like 
people don't like the idea well people don't like liminal spaces because like you know when it's empty and there's not much people there it doesn't feel right and the idea of like being alone in a place where people like are usually in that's um that's spooky i guess for people hey gravy hi gravy what's up how are you doing all right can go down there I can't tell if that's part of the background music or if that's just from something else. You still have used Windows 2000 Pro, like for the com oh for the computers? Because I know a lot of like different uh, a lot of different companies. They tend to use like the older software because they can't really afford to like update. Because you know they have to pay for the licenses and everything. Yeah, yeah, I really like these types of games too. It's not just like, it's not really horror based or horror esque. It's just like you know, exploration. Like you just want to see what's like next, because like something like this, obviously, like is just really really alien, but also at the same time like really really familiar. How do you know that this isn't? Wait, what the hell? Wait, what? Wait, did I- did I get flipped around? Wait, what? Hold on, did I get flipped around? I think I got flipped around. Or does it just floop in on, in, on itself? I kept going straight, didn't I? <laughs> well, don't tell the businesses that. Well, actually, no, maybe you should. <laughs> Maybe they'll be forced to upgrade their 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 windows then past something that's like completely vulnerable. Right? Oh my god, I flipped around again. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm not go I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally going nowhere. Okay, it's literally just a looping hallway. It's like the, uh, I don't I can't get past it. I can't do the BLJ. I need to do BLJs. Alright, so we can't go there. The infinite hallway. Yeah, I can't believe this game stole from Mario 64, even though it came out <laughs> afterwards. Where am I supposed to go? There's something up there, but we can't get to it. Maybe around here? Where can I- where have I not gone yet? It feels like I've gone everywhere so far. Hmm, can't, can't go there. Right. This is where we got the crowbar, maybe? No, we can't go up here, can we? I don't think we can. Sonic had an infinite waterfall? I've never actually- played the i never beaten the old sonic games kind of want to get around to it but <laughs> considering it's like how it's like the old school retro capcom like platformer games i'm probably gonna be like really really skilly shit on that i'm really skilly shit right now actually oh my god i'm getting so lost wait wait a minute okay so that's a dead end But it loops in on itself? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, I see, I see. So the game is throwing like those weird waypoint portals. So it looks like you're going somewhere, but then it like disappears behind you. The wall disappears behind you. Hmm. Where have I not gone then yet? Are we over... We're here. Well, I did say I wanted to do exploration games, and this is basically <laughs> what it is. Wait. God, every time I look away, it feels like... It feels like it's looping in on itself. Hmm. Okay, this is the big room. Can't do anything in here, though. Elevator key. Crowbar. I don't think I can use the crowbar anywhere here either. You saw a wall. 
<laughs> I didn't see anything. I was looking at you guys and I couldn't and I like missed it. I saw something in the corner of my eye that changed. Okay, hold on. Where have we not gone yet? Maybe maybe can you sit here? No? Mm, no. What if I okay. What if I just go left? I'll hold I'll hug the left wall. Maybe it'll take me somewhere? I'm already... I think, well, that's the point. The game is supposed to make you feel lost. The game is obviously using, like, that, uh... What the hell? Wait... What the... Whoa! Huh? Wait, what? I walked through a wall? Wait... But... What? I can't pick it up. I guess I guess that's the point. Uh okay. One. How do I how did I <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I detect my wall hugging? Maybe one. Wait, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But I don't get the point of that though. Yeah, it's the sausage prison. <laughs> It's it got caged. It's stuck in the gay big bee jail. Okay, I get it now. I guess we'll just have to keep on hugging the walls until we maybe clip into something or find something. <gasps> oh, okay. So this is new, ish. Copy disk. Memory forty three. I can't click it. I guess it's just collectible. And thank you for the follow, Lone Zombie Boy. Thank you, thank you. Oh. I'm getting so tripped out by the music just like cutting out nonstop. Alright, I have to stop like looking at you guys because when I do, that's usually when the weird stuff tends to happen. Is that the same? I think it's the same. Okay, this is new. It definitely, this is definitely new. I'm not sure if the items do anything right now. What's VTuber graduation? Uh, so basically, Lone Zombie Boy, uh, I'm assuming that you don't know anything, like, or not anything, but you don't know much about, like, the culture, but VTuber graduation is when uh, the person playing the VTuber, the character behind the VTuber, uh, is going to retire from playing that character, so they're basically, like, quitting. Like, they're not gonna... They're not gonna play games or stream or do anything like that, like that anymore. They're basically like quitting streaming for the most part. That's what they call it. Whoa. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I like the idea that it's not just a, the hallways anymore, it's like this huge open space. So when, when people graduate, it's like taken from this uh, term from idol culture. Yeah, it's basically a softer term for quitting. You know, they don't want to use the like term quitting because then it has like a weird negative connotation, I guess. So when they use graduation, it's sort of like similar to like when Japanese idols would quit and they'd call it graduation because they're not like, you know, they're not like quitting per se. It's just that they're moving on to like another portion of their life. And that's basically the same thing with like VTubers, you know, it's not that like, you know, they're permanently probably quitting streaming maybe they'll be like on another alias or they're gonna do something else but they're just like done with that portion of like their life like they're done playing that character so when you see like a vtuber graduation it just means that they're like they're you know they're they're done streaming can i use it here elevator key memory memory 43 oh there we go let's see Examination report, 1995. Subject information, censored, ME, sex female, age 27, weight 48, height 157. Subject results, status deceased, test pass, censored, censored. Subject had recovered from the comatose state. Upon recovery, nearly all forms of memory had been forgotten or alerted. Subject remained completely deaf, but 
otherwise the results were satisfactory, and the health of the subject was stable. Two weeks following recovery, the subject expired from unknown circumstances. The cause of this is still being investigated, but as of now, there is no clear answer. End of report. Maybe, so maybe this is referring to someone who also ended up here? Obviously, I guess they're going for some type of lore here, but I don't think that's probably us. I don't think this is us because this is, this person's dead. <laughs> Unless I'm dead too. I'm just like in hell. Is the concept that the VTubers at university net graduation and they get a real job and stop having to stream? Uh, I mean, I guess you can sort of think of it that way. I think that, um, I think that Niji Sanji sort of had like a VTuber university where people don't actually, like, they'll actually stream, but they're like under a blanket channel and they, they basically practice streaming on that blanket channel, like while in university, quote unquote. And when they uh, graduate from that university, they get their own like unique model and their own channel and everything. It's a pretty cool program that I'm surprised that not a lot of uh, not a lot of companies tend to do. VTuber companies tend to do. But I guess it's sort of like risk. I mean, actually, that's not that risky. It seems like a pretty good idea, actually. Yeah, I think um, if you look up Niji Sanji like university or Niji Sanji like school. Uh, you should probably see like a blanket like amount of certain VTubers that are taking that program. It's pretty nice. But yeah, like I said, it's not it's not that the What the hell? Okay, that's pretty cool actually. That's a really that's a nice vision that's a that's an optical illusion. Can I get in here? No? Okay. So apart from the fact that it's like a uh, looping in on itself, I am getting to like different areas of this place because I haven't seen these places before. Windows 95 moment. I thought someone said that this is more like a Windows 98 like type of thing. Also, hey now. Yeah, this is a I'm going for a pretty relaxing stream right now because it is late. And I don't want to This is different? Okay, yeah, that's definitely different. Dude, every time I turn around, it's like the game knows I'm looking a certain way, and when I turn around, it changes immediately. Yeah, so, um, so graduation, when people say that they're graduating, it basically means they're quitting, uh, zombie. Uh, when they're taking a break, they just say that they're gonna go on hiatus. And, um, basically, when it comes to Indies, when indie VTubers say that they're going to go on hiatus, that either means that, yeah, it could be like a mental health break or they're taking a break from streaming so they can do other stuff like hang out with family or take care of like IRL stuff. Or <laughs> you're you're not supposed to like, you know, you're not supposed to technically know this, but when there's like a big indie that goes on quote unquote hiatus, that usually means that they may or may not uh, be taking a new role in a corporate uh, in a corporate VTubing company. So uh, I, I'm not going to name any names, obviously, because you know you got to respect the people and their privacy. But there are there are um, cases basically where people who who are on hiatus right now it basically means that if they're on hiatus and they're they finally decide to go to like a corpo company and then it doesn't work out for whatever reason or they decide that they're finished they can go back to that identity of their of their normal indie vtubing thing can i go up here oh uh hello uh, alex oh hey Thanks for stopping by. Don't mind my friend over there. He'll be fine. You're... You rusty ink. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh my God, they're actually just floating PNGs. I can't skip it. It's so slow. 
Oh my god, that was actually jarring. It wasn't it wasn't like scary, but that was really really jarring. Oh, oh, oh okay. N nice meeting you, a Alex. Maybe I can do something up there later. All right. Let's just keep on going then. I saw in the previews for this that there were supposed to be like a a mall. Oh, oh, this is new. Might be the end of the level, probably. Yeah, looks like it. <gasps> yeah, here it is, the mall. Can I go back? Oh, I can. All right. Dude, I love this aesthetic. I think out of all like the the old '90s, 2000s, early 2000s aesthetics. It's the retro, quote unquote, I don't know if I want to say retro, but it's like the 90s mall, like blue neon light or purple neon lights, the blue and the white. I don't know, it's really, really comforting. Except when I played the Animalopolis and it wasn't as comforting. Here? Crack? I don't want to say I'm biased, I just like it, you know? It is- that's actually pretty con actually, yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Neon pink? Well, I don't have, like, a neon pink. Maybe is it because of my influence from the 90s that I have this color scheme, or it's just a coincidence? Who knows? Can't go here. I wonder if I can use the crowbar for anything. I know, dude. I can't believe the 90s stole from me. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so powerful that they were inspired by my color scheme. Can't go in. What is that? Hold on. Inventory, crouch control, toggle. Okay. Well, I can't use anything here yet. I don't think I can. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? You're not supposed to tell anyone that I live in a mall? I get free- I get free rent here. Can't go in here. Okay, I like the visual aesthetics of this, but the music is... is a bit odd. It wouldn't be my first choice. I mean, it's not bad. Obviously, it's not, like, amazing, but it's not... I don't know, there could be better choices for this music. Can't go here. Can't go here. Nothing here. I kind of wish they went for, like, a more... a vapor... Is that a gumball machine? I wish they went with a more vaporwave, like, type of, like, aesthetic... coin. 25 cents? What is this? Are these? Oh wait, is this a map of the- Oh, I see. I think. I I'm assuming that this is where you collect all the quarters, maybe? 25 cents. Uh, coin. Let's try this. I really hope that it's anime- <gasps> Wait, it just ate my money! What the hell? Oh my god, dude. I wanted to see the animation! <laughs> so hey, Dr. Drew. Yeah, it's me, Barrel, Barrel. The internet sensation, extraordinaire. The one who influenced the 90s aesthetic. Dude, it just ate my coin! What the hell? I wanted to see it, like, roll down that thing. Okay, well, <laughs> let's find another coin, I guess. Mm. Wait, did I come from there? I mean, the game like loves to change stuff from behind me, so I can't tell like where I've been and where I've been where I'm supposed to go. You and your mom went shopping once at a supermarket, and the music went off sync, and I got all garbled and spooky. No one, yeah, that's um. That tends to happen actually pretty normally at like the old retro malls because the like speaker system will get weird. This sounds- this music, this soundtrack seems more on par with the 
with like the mall music in my opinion. It's not like, it's not completely there, but it feels like it's like getting there. Uh, okay, where's this? Okay, that, I, I can't read that map entirely at all. I guess we'll keep on looking for it then. Yeah, the mall was haunted. Y you guys, you and your mom are lucky that you escaped with your life, honestly. What is that? Can I have the gumball machine? <gasps> oh, it is. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, I get it now. So we have to get to the gumball machines, probably to advance to the next level. It's another computer. It sort of feels like it's like one of those malls. Oh my god, it's the playground. <laughs> the weird ass playgrounds with the <laughs> with the random like statues or whatever that you play with. Chips. Okay, what do we got chips for? Hmm. I can't eat it. Oh. <laughs> It's the milk. It's the got milk or got milk cow. Yeah, that chip pack was actually pretty huge. Looks like this doorknob is missing. Okay, I think I get it. So once I, once I get all the gumball machines, maybe it's gonna spit out like a doorknob, like advance to the next level. Dude, I remember when they used to have all those like got milk ads on TV. They don't really run those anymore, do they? Didn't they have a, um, a what's it called? The Mario? <laughs> do you remember the, do you guys remember the Mario, um, advertisement thing? Where there were, there were these two kids playing Super Mario 64, and it was like, I don't know, Mario kept running into a, into a wall, and then he ended up drinking milk, and he managed to get like super super huge and crash at the game even though you can actually do that yeah this is like an old old commercial there was like two different mario ones is it darker did these change wait what i don't i don't remember those being like that last time i think it might have it might have changed something on me again. Yeah, there was that one, and there was like another one where Mario manages to like get out of the TV and like he goes on a skateboard and everything. I don't know the '90s commercials were really, really wild. Uh, when I had my watch along last time, we like had a we watched a video. It was like a parody of like '90s commercials, and except it went like super, super crazy. <laughs> but it wasn't <laughs> compared to like the normal '90s commercials back then. They weren't that crazy <laughs> in my opinion i'm not sure what that coin did though crowbar yeah we can't get through these through these shutters but i don't think i've been here before i think something changed again it definitely changed I think that's the idea of the game. You know, you just go back and forth and just watch all the changes. Okay, can't go through here. Wait. Did I go through here? No, I, this is the... This is where I came from, right? No, yeah, this is definitely where I came from. Hmm. Where, where do I go then from here? Can I... Okay, I can't go through here. Maybe... No, I can't go through there. Yeah, you know... You know how, like, um... Fashion tends to just, like, bounce back and forth? Because, you know, we have, like, our modern-day fashion, but then, like, for high fashion, or, like, hipsters, they just, like, dress like it's, like, the 80s or 90s. That's basically how it's gonna be. Plus, we also just have, like, those, um... The movie remakes, you know, instead of like being original, like all the AAA like Hollywood movies, they just recycle movies and make it like modernized, but it's still like the same like story from like way back when. Did you know at one point we thought Spike Terror was cool? Dude, I thought Spike Terror was cool. 
I will I will not be ashamed to admit that when I was in you know funny demon elementary school I thought that having spiked hair was the coolest shit so yes I actually did spike my hair back in <laughs> back in demon primary school you wouldn't want an afro I think I think afro could fit it could work depending on the circumstance I don't I wouldn't like wear it I wouldn't have an afro uh, on my day-to-day -day because I don't think it would look good <laughs> on me personally but I think I think there are certain like circumstances or situations where it would look pretty decent depending on the event what the heck I'm not no I'm cool I'm cool trust me I'm cool I'm uh you know I have a skateboard and I and I have vans I listen to Linkin Park and everything trust me please I'm actually so cool Okay, let me think. Um, maybe the middle area is where the the lunch area is. The top area is where I came from, and the bottom area is where I'm going. I'm not sure where to go from here. I have to just hug the wall or something. <laughs> yeah, look forward to my my uh, five point update. When I when I decide to get an afro as one of my alternate hairstyles. <laughs> this is really scary. Well, sorry to say, man. There's all the bathrooms are locked, so you're gonna have to go inside. Uh, you're gonna have to go in the playpen over here. I'm so lost. I'm not sure where to go. We do have the. The chips, but I'm not sure what to do with the chips. I'm not even sure if there's anything to do with that, honestly. Yeah, it's not a, it's not really a, like a spooky game, uh, Harag. It's just more like a exploration, liminal space like exploration type of game. But I'm trying to figure out where to go right now because I have no idea. I'm so lost right now. What if crowbar? We never figured out what to do with the crowbar. Have I played I'm Scared? Uh, okay, so I actually have played I'm Scared like a long time ago. Like a long, long time ago. I never played the most recent update for I'm Scared. And I feel like I probably want to at one point or another. I actually, we actually ran into I'm scared, uh, whiteface in in a uh, what's it called? In Spooky's house, in Spooky's jump scare mansion, we ran into we ran into him as one of the cameo appearances. I actually have to play that. I have to finish that. Well, I don't think I can finish it because it's endless mode. But I have to get around to like f uh, seeing all the rest of the entities. Entities. Uh, sub. What do they call it? Subjects. Is this what your sound? Is this what your stomach makes when you eat birthday cake? <laughs> Towitch.tv. I'm. I'd be kind of worried for you if it did. Okay, so it took my. It took my coin. Hold on. Let me. Let me think. It, it's time to think. <laughs> oh God, you're right. It's not even subject. It's called specimen. I'm too, I'm too back rooms like pilled right now. Everything I, whenever time I think of like something spooky, I just think, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a entity, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not randomized, no. But I'm trying to figure out where to go from here. We got a coin and it, we used it on the gumball machine, but I'm not sure where to go from here. Okay, hold on. There's three different areas. Okay, that's the... I don't think we can go there. Maybe... Okay, I have actually no idea what the stars mean. I guess we'll... 
one. Wait, there's three different areas I haven't gone yet. Okay, one of them leads to the entrance. The other one leads to the other exit, which we can't go through yet. But we should probably try this area then, I guess? No, wait. Oh, no, wait. Have I been? No. No, I can't go here. No, this is this is where I came from, so I guess probably go back. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep on hugging the left side until we can see it. Yeah, I know that the map has like some secrets because we ran into one of them last time. Might have to just like clip into one of the rooms just to see where it is. What's my favorite flavor of toothpaste? Hmm. I think there was the... what's it called? Like the kid toothpaste that you could like technically swallow, but you were, you know, you're not supposed to. There was like this grape flavored one that was based off of the... what was it? One of like the cartoons. I think it was like Aladdin. <laughs> I don't know, I, I really really liked the Aladdin like toothpaste flavor one when I was like younger. I know, I was really, really weird though. I never actually swallowed it, but like, I loved brushing my teeth back then because I just felt like I was eating like, great flavored toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the Disney flavored toothpaste, that's what it was. My god, I miss that actually. I'm not even sure if they make it anymore. The fuck does Aladdin taste like? <laughs> I don't know, but apparently, supposedly, it tastes like grape because I love that shit. Gonna be the fruit. Okay, this is the fruit area again. I'll go. I'll go left side one more time. So hi, Sue. Aladdin tastes like blueberry cotton candy. Wait, are you speaking from experience? I thought I was like the only one that actually like <laughs> had that Disney toothpaste stuff. Don't they um? Don't they not use fluoride on that though, so that kids can't like get fluoride poisoning or whatever? You still use Disney toothpaste? Do you use the flavored ones? The flavored ones are so, so good. Okay, so we can't go here. I think. No, we can't. Can't jump over that. Go here. I hope this isn't where I came from. If, if it is, I'll be so lost. I'll have no idea where to go. I don't think I... Wait, what the heck is that? What is that? I don't think I've been here before. <laughs> That's me. I'm literally lost in every single game. No, this is the entrance. Wait, this place? Yellow? Wait, wait, this, this might be it. Maybe? No? I can't interact with that. Fluoride has less. Yeah, it basically feels like <laughs> I'm literally lost in a mall. You know, I'm not ashamed to admit this, I actually do get lost in like malls if they're really really big. Wait, did I find your room yet? Yeah, we passed by your room back in the, the yellow back room area. Yeah, you'd think that I could like open these with the shutter, but I can't. Interact. Let me turn this on. That'd be a bit better. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna interact with like every single shutter with E just to make sure. Or at least like make sure I can't like clip into it. But yeah, I've I've been lost before in a mall. In a mall like sorta of similar to this. Actually, if you guys have ever been to like to Las Vegas. They have a lot of malls in Las Vegas and they all, they're all really huge so it's really easy to get lost in them. Like the, I think the Aladdin mall specifically, that one's really really like, like spacious.
yeah, I don't for I see, I don't think that this game is going for like a like a spooky like a spooky um, aesthetic. It's just supposed to be like more nostalgic, liminal space-ish kind of. Although I am kind of lost right now because I don't know where to go from here. Let me just. I'm gonna hug the left wall again. <laughs> Anything here? Nothing? 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 I mean, there's... There is more stuff to do in Vegas besides gambling. They... Vegas has a lot of, like, good places to eat. Especially, like, the buffets. If you love eating at, like, buffets, then, you know, it'd be... That's, like, one of the best places to go. I, I, I think I mentioned this story before about how I went, went to, like, a buffet in Vegas. And, uh, one of my relatives was, like... Why do I zoom in on that? So one of my relatives was paying for us, right? And uh, we went to a lobster buffet, but I don't, <laughs> I don't really eat crab or lobster because I don't really like the consistency of it. So even though you know they paid for everything, I I couldn't really eat it. I felt really really bad. I was like I really, I tried to eat like what I could, but you know when you're going to a buffet that has lobster, it's really really expensive. So I felt like really, really, really bad. <laughs> Just eat all meat. I mean, yeah, you can eat as much meat as you want, but when you're when you go to a seafood buffet, it's really, really, <laughs> you know, you have to you have to eat your money's worth, and no matter how much you eat. How do I get in there? I know. Okay, I know that I was supposed to get in there. Maybe invisible wall. Yeah, it's all crustaceans, you know. If you eat like shellfish, then you know you're gonna get your money's worth. But I don't, I don't eat shellfish usually. I can eat like fried shrimp, at the very least. But when it comes to when it comes to like anything outside of that, like I, I'm not really a fan of the consistency. What am I missing here? Chips, maybe. I'm not sure what the chips are for. Man, this is gonna suck. If I'm actually lost in here, I don't think anyone actually has played this game right now because I don't think I've seen anything like online of anyone playing this game. So if I'm lost in here and I get stuck, then it's actually so over. Maybe it's in the, the fruit area? Hold on, let's go check the fruit area one more time. I can't charge with that. Maybe it's a cow? Cow want chips? <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> he looks so surprised. Hop on battle a bit? I'm too busy playing liminal space, Drew. I can't hop on battle a bit. I'll get skill issued in there either way. God knows that when I played like Doom, I was... <laughs> Dude, I died in my Doom playthrough. And thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Sheila. Very thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day, night, wherever it is over there. Maybe I have to go back? Oh, you know what? Maybe I do have to go back. Okay. If we can't... If I get back to, like, the other area, I will try to go back to that area. I'll go back to the uh, first area. Because I don't know why it's not letting me... Why it's not letting me go anywhere else if I can. Yeah, that's literally right now. I'm just going around in circles. I love I love Lim Liminal Space games, but it whenever, you know, what sucks about it is if I get lost or I don't know what to do, I'm, I am <laughs> kind of hopeless. It's the same thing that happened with um, Yuma and Nikki. I loved Yuma and Nikki, and I love like the aesthetics and the like dreamscapes of it. But when I had to collect like the last couple of effects in it, I was really, really lost. Hey, that's not opening. We might have to go back to the other area. Yeah, it's not letting me go in here either. I'm 
try over here then. The appeal of Yume Nikki? Well, I understand why people get hard filtered by Yume Nikki. Because, you know, it's an RPG Maker game. Wait, what? Why can't I go back? Why can't I go back? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Why can't I go back? Am I actually gonna be stuck here? Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll take any ideas on how to progress in here because I'm so lost. I don't want, I don't know what the stars mean. I know I know that like they're supposed to be significant one way or another, but Yeah. <laughs> I need an adult. I need I need a staff member on hand. At least there's ambient music. If there was no music on it, I would be I would be very, very spooked out. The stars on that meet positions, the maps are there. And there's three maps in this area. I'm not sure where to go from, from here though, because I know I got the I got the coin, and then the gumball machine ate my coin. But it didn't really give me anything after that. And I can't do anything with the chips. Maybe, maybe I toss the chips in here? Wait, 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 wait. No, damn it. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Uh. Uh. I don't know. I, I'm trying to mess around with the with the gumball machine, but it's not really doing anything. Nope. Okay, crowbar. No. We're at the upper star. Hmm. I guess that would make sense where that that fence is, the one that we can't go through. Hold on, I have to like I have to orient myself because I'm really really like busy right now. Okay, so yeah, the map is in the center, so <sighs> this is kind of <sighs> this is hard to understand. So the right side, I believe, if we're facing this way, okay, that leads over back to the entrance. So if I go this way, there should be a big area, I think, maybe. We'll try going over here one more time. Yeah, this leads south. Can't go there. Can't go there still. I'm still trying to spam E wherever I can on this area. You think that you could go through here because it's just like blocked off. Wait, this is the this is where I came from. This is literally where I came from. Okay. Let's try one more time in the freed area. Am I under from just really dumb? I saw the reviews for this game, and people said it was like simple puzzles. So when people say simple, you know, you'd think it would be simple, but I'm I'm just kinda of brain dead right now. Oh wait, no, this is the Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I think I I think I understand the map now. I think I get it now. Okay, okay. Um, so this way, I believe, is the fruit area. Yeah, there's another map here. Alright, hold on, let me orient myself. I wonder why the shutters won't open though. Actually, this map makes no sense. The map makes no sense then, because this is this is just a hallway. Why would there there's no star on the area where the map is? So the stars aren't the maps.
I'm pretty sure these shutters are supposed to open, but I don't know why they're not opening. Unless they're... Okay, hold on. I think the bottom area... The bottom area is where... I was... I came from the entrance. Um, that's the food court, the middle area right there, the where my crowbar is like touching, that's the food court. I think this is the fruit area. And this is the the exit, I think. They could be they could be item locations. I think they're oh no, you're you're right, you're right. Also, hey Samantha. Uh current sleep rating? I am around a Maybe like a 6 or 7 out of 10. I don't know why I'm still awake. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I think you I think you have a point. They're either item locations or they could be... They could be gumball locations. But I'm just not sure how to get past the... Get past the... What's it called? The shutters. Okay, okay, so this is the big, big area. We got the item. We got we got the coin. We got the chips. There's the door. Where else am I supposed to go, though? Hmm... I can't think of any other place I can go, though. I feel like the shutters are supposed to be open, but I don't know how to open them. Alright, hold on. Maybe if I just get some water. Let me get a second. I need to hydrate. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe maybe you have to play in the daytime so that the stores will be open. <laughs> Am I missing something in the in this area then? They're all sleeping, they're all home in bed. Baby. Also hey Haru. Why is this place locked off, though? I feel like you'd be able to do something with the chips, but I'm not sure what. Maybe this? Can I interact with this? Can I interact with the map? Can I interact with this? Hi, Hyper. Uh, I am currently really, really lost right now. Because I'm not really sure where to go. No. Don't say that, no. That's actually... That might actually be a possibility. It, it actually might be a possibility. Can't go in here. Because the, the gumball didn't do anything. It, it, take, it took my coin. But that's all it did. There's something there. I forgot the trash can. I forgot the blue torch in the trash can. I I interacted with the trash can. I didn't see anything in there. I'll do one more one more runs around. This feels like you'd be able to go in here, but it looks like there's a glass, something blocking the way. I wonder why I can't go back either, that's really weird. 
Oh wait, 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 wait. I can go back. I'm pretty sure I can go back. All right, you know what? It's fine now. There, I think there actually is one guy who did play, play this game. So if you want to. That teleported me. That teleported me just now. Okay, I'm back at the entrance now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to look up like where to go, no, I'm totally off for it because I'm really, really lost right now. I think that was the whole point of the aesthetics hyper, the idea that um, gate key. <gasps> when did I get this? Oh. Okay, I get it now. You were supposed to use these to open. When did I get this? <laughs> well, at least we know where to go now. Okay, now we have to find our way back. All right, I don't remember how I got there last time. I think I'm just gonna hug the wall nonstop until it teleports me back there. <laughs> no, 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 it's not my fault, okay? The game had no indication that the game had no indication that, uh, <laughs> that I picked something up, okay? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not that I don't- it's not that I have a streamer brain. I'm just really- I'm very, very dumb, okay? <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit I'm- I'm kinda- I'm kinda dumb. Okay, this looks familiar-ish. We went through here. We can't go back there. Wait, maybe it can. I have the crowbar. Let's try the crowbar on something. No. Can't use it here. Maybe maybe use it on the the cracked area. I don't see any where I can go here. Maybe I can use it on the cracked walls. Yeah, I really like the game. I like games that tend to like have a PS1 like aesthetic, you know? <gasps> oh! Okay, so you do use them on those things. Okay, I haven't been here before. Unless it takes me back to the area I was before. Is this a dead end? Looks like it. Okay. Let's try over here. Oh. Maybe... chips? You guys want chips? Anyone? And I, I didn't prepare anything, but hey, I, I got something at least. Okay, well, let's try to keep this out then. That's where I came from. Exit! What? This is new. Oh! Oh. Hello? Oh, this is I don't like the fact there's no music here. I don't like I don't like the fact there's no music here. There's nothing here. I got an achievement apparently. It says that uh <laughs> I don't know. I I unlocked the stage or I found the stage. There's nothing I can do here, so I guess, I guess that's that. The true ending. I don't care about the true ending. I want the bad ending. <laughs> I want effort to, I want, I want like high effort. I think I, I love those games that were like, there's like the good ending, the, the true ending, and then you have to like go out of your way to get the really, really bad shitty ending. I think, um, didn't Neptunia 2 have that? I am the true ending. Yeah, any any ending that I pick is the real ending, the true ending. Alright. Uh where have we not gone yet? I think it was this way. No wait, this is probably going back. I think I'm going back to where I came from before. Uh, oh, I'm lost. Again? 
Oh yeah, I'm definitely lost. And this is the looping hallway. How did I- how did I get there last time? Okay, hold on. I think it was this way. Alright. Thanks for dropping by, Cab. Appreciate it. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good rest. Alright, there's the crowbar. Why is it within the back rooms and not within the bathrooms? Because there's no toilet here, obviously. You see, you see the the walls here. There's a reason why they're why they're piss yellow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you had to you have to make do with what you got when you're lost in here. Hydrate? Yeah, let's go hydrate now. Actually, <laughs> speaking of yeah, everyone make sure you hydrate. It is getting really hot out. Yeah, the walls are yellow, the carpet's brown, um, <laughs> don't think about it too hard. That's why, that's why people go insane in the back rooms, because they have that awful realization. Okay, so we can't go there. We're gonna hug the left wall again until we get somewhere. I think that's what I did last time, right? <laughs> that's actually kind of that's actually a really scary thought imagine like pooping or using the restroom here and then <laughs> you get lost and you loop all the way back and your only marker is the fact that you you took a you took a dookie in one of the rooms and you keep finding that room with the dookie <laughs> okay i remember that i recognize that chair i don't like the fact that like it teleports you, so it's kind of hard to keep track of where you're supposed to go, or where you've been. Isn't that why vacuums are canonically moist? Yeah, but you're not supposed to tell anyone that, jeez. Okay, we found that room. Nah, not supposed to go there. We'll keep on hugging the left wall until we find something. Cause that's how you exit a maze, isn't it? You just <gasps> wait. No, 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 not here. Uh, okay, we can't from here. Left side. Shit. Okay, hold on. Yeah, at least the music's really nice to listen to. The soundtrack is really, really like at least not spooky-ish for the most part. You need an AC? I need an AC. I'm actually like melting right now. Please don't let me lead back to the- wait no no no, I recognize this area, I recognize it. Uh, let's see. You want some chips? Chips? Don't mind me, don't mind my friend over there. He'll be fine. Uh, alright. That's still the same as before. Keep hugging the left wall. Okay, okay, this is the exit. Okay. <laughs> it was a bit of a detour. I don't know, I just love- I love the piss yellow, like, stains of this original level so much, I just wanted to revisit it. Alright. Gate. Let's try these out. Okay, so you were supposed to use these over here. I just didn't realize <laughs> that I had them in my inventory. This is like... Doesn't that kind of look like those uh, insect zappers? Those huge insect zappers? Well, not the huge one. They're like oversized. Well, yeah, it's an empty mall. Come on. <laughs> you can't expect anything to be in an empty mall. I'm sure I'm dry. Yeah, we're finally making progress. I could have been making progress like half an hour ago, but I just didn't check my inventory. That's literally on me. Alright, here's the wall. Oh, I bet. There's probably a secret behind this, huh? Oh, coin! Okay, okay. Uh. Roller? Nice. And it happens 
to be that I ex know exactly where to put this coin. Then get key. I wonder if it could open the fence area. Probably not, huh? I know that quarter is like literally the size of me. What this exit? Heaven's waiting. Uh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Oh. Uh, hello? You are not welcome here. Oh, my, my bad. You are not welcome here yet. O okay. Sorry, Mr. Biblically Correct Angel. I'll get out of here. I, I, I don't think... I, I don't think he likes me in there. I know this this happened this actually happened to my buddy Eric one time, believe it or not. Yeah, we can't get through these doors. Barrel salute on the next emo patch? It's actually been a long time since I checked on my progress for the last emo patch. Um I'll consider it. This one seems really familiar. I don't know why, but something about like this layout with the the ceiling checker board and like the colored. This seems sort of like a play, like a comic store maybe, or like a kids like toy store. Come back later. Well, this game does have multiple endings, so maybe I actually have to like unlock something later on. Who knows? Right, nothing in here. Wait, what the heck? Whoa! Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, this place is huge. This place is a lot deeper than I thought. Unless it's gonna be looping? Oh, it is. Wait, is it? Oh shit, this place is- oh my god. Oh my god, this is actually really long. Memory. Maybe I can use it on the on the computer way back there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be dreaming. I don't want weird horny dreams when I'm sleeping. Uh oh, wheels with eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I've seen like depictions of biblically correct angels, and they're really wild. I think when we watched them, Valley Verde, that was um that was supposed to be how it looked like. For the biblically correct angels, I think. I haven't been here yet. Oh. I guess we found all the chairs. All the chairs that are supposed to be laid out in the middle of the hallway. And this. What is this? Oh. Oh. What the? Oh no, 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 no. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We'll check that out later. That might be another another ending. But I want to get my, I want to like get to the normal stuff first. That kind of reminds me of, um, have you guys ever seen Worlds? Coin? Oh no, did it reset? I hope it didn't reset. <gasps> They're oh, so that's what. Okay, I get it now. Do I need this? I don't think I need it. I think I can just go keep on going normally. All right, let's go get this. The be not afraid was because they usually showed up to murder. They said that to make it clear they wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Angels were pretty violent, you know, according to the Bible. Uh, you know, they were waging war with the demons, so you know it's. When they came down to visit Earth, probably people thought they'd be, you know, fucking shit up. <laughs> they'd be killing everything. And thank you for the follow, Greasy Pervert Weave69420. Thank you, thank you. That was a really long name. I respect it. Let's try over here. Uh oh. This is, this is gonna be one of those, like, really empty, huge ass rooms with the weird shit in the back. The cedars. 
or like a Walmart or like those in store. Oh my god, this place is huge. What the hell is that? Wait, what the hell? Is that clipping into the? It was clipping into the ceiling and the floor. <laughs> Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting really dark. Oh, man. Okay, can't go there. The salute emote preview. Hey, then at that point, like, anything can be a salute emote. Just add a 7 at the end, you know? Oh. Oh, no way. Did it really? Oh my god, it baited me. It actually baited me. <laughs> it just took me back here. Whatever. I guess I don't need to go back down there. Alright. Let's try going down here one more time. I know, right? It literally... <laughs> it literally just sent me back there. Alright, fine, fine, fine. There is a gumball machine somewhere over here. Yeah, I salute the thighs. <laughs> Very based. Alright, here we go. This has to be the doorknob, right? Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Doorknob? Here we go. And this should take us to the next level, hopefully. Oh, let's try it. Oh no, we can check the, the floppy disk. Alright, let's go check it out. Memory 729. Examination report 1998. Subject information X. Mm, can't read that. Sex male, age 23, weight 77, height 180. Subject results, status comatose. He's not deceased. Subject has entered stage 2 as expected. Changes in brain activity will be monitored closely. Interrupted. Inter interrupted with regular shock and dosage? Okay, the lore on this is getting a bit, a bit, a bit kind of, a bit out of hand. And thank you for the, thank you for the one month, th the three month resub. For, uh, thank you, thank you. I am doing a spin. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll, no, no, no. I'll, I'll do a spin right now just for you guys. Just for that one. All right, ready, ready. <laughs> hold on, uh, hold on. Ah, okay, hold on. The rare barrel spin right here. The barrel roll. <laughs> You're my legs. It's right there. It's right there. All right. That one's free. The next one will cost you. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> At 3 a.m. in the morning. 3.20 a.m. in the morning. I'm actually so brain dead right now. There we go. I think that's... I think it was like this, right? One more barrel coin to do it again. You'll have to do more than one barrel coin. I'm an imp? No, I'm a demon. I'm really bad at doing... What do you mean I just did a spin? I literally just did a spin. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Japanese goblin. All right, let's go. Oh, this is dark. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, I miss my... I miss the comfy music. <laughs> hey, Seb. Welcome. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we're just... Uh, we're, we're doing funny liminal dreamscape exploration right now. And how was your how's your stream? How was your case of the golden idol stream? Is that like a point and click adventure game? Oh, I want what is that game? Let me let me look that up. Case of the go, go, case of the golden idol. This is a mystery detective investigation conspiracy. Wait, so this is sort of like a point and click adventure game, kinda. But how was it? It's good. It's cool. Is it spooky? I'm like all down for like completely spooky games. Oh no. Wait, flashlight? Oh no. Oh, I was enjoying the game too. <laughs> oh. 
if I needed to wake up, I guess this is the perfect time. All right, I'll definitely, I'll def if it's like worth checking out, I will definitely check it out. Like, do you think it's worth playing? I actually haven't played a long, like, adventure, point and click adventure game in a while. All right, no problem. Thank you again for the raid, and I hope you have a good breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it is over there. It's good? All right, cool. Maybe that'll be my first introduction to, to point and click stuff. Although the, the mystery stuff will probably be more, more, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm already getting like skill issue by the fact that I got lost from something that already like isn't supposed to make me lost. And thank you for the follow, Prince Slime. Thank you, thank you. Childhood trauma? Dude, I have so much childhood trauma. You have no idea. I think everyone does at one point or another. Uh, I can't go here. Can't go there. Blue or yellow? <laughs> Alright, this music is not helping. Yeah, this is, um... This game isn't, like, supposed to be as, like, spooky as it is. It's supposed to be more, like, liminal space horror-ish. Well, not, not horror. It's just supposed to be liminal space exploration. Although the music isn't really helping its case right now. I think it's that. Uh, hello? Can I get past you? No? Okay. <laughs> the music is doing a really great job at, at setting the <laughs> atmospheric tone. Can I go back to the, the normal calming, like, backrooms music or the shopping mall music? I think I have to go down here. Yeah, it looks like it. My god. You know, I don't know if you guys ever played with those, um... Have you ever been to those play pens back in, like, uh... If you had a McDonald's near you or a Burger King? Because when you were little, they basically looked exactly like this. It was like, um... We, we saw something similar to this in... In Spookies. But, like, these pipes, like... It looked really, really huge back when you were, like, really young. Yeah, this is the this is the back rooms at home. <laughs> Happy birthday! All right, sure, <laughs> I'll take it. Where's my birthday gifts? I'm waiting. It was kind of like really threatening, wasn't it? I never really went to like the pipe areas. I sort of more enjoyed the um. I don't know if they still have these, but didn't McDonald's used to have those like uh, those video game machines? With like Mario Kart and Banjo Kazooie and everything. What's this? Memory. All right. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, did you just take us back? Or is it new? Wait, this is new. Oh, this is. This is definitely new. How is that a skill issue? <laughs> What the hell? Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Where's my birthday cake? Alright, you guys said that there's a... My birthday, so where's my cake? <laughs> That's a cope? Okay, that is a cope. That's a skill issue. That's a mod skill issue right there. Oh my god, that's huge. Wait, this isn't birthday? This is like... This is like, um, Twinkle Little, Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star, isn't it? Alright, let's go check this out. Examination report, 1998. Subject information, Dan- That's definitely Daniel something. Sex, male, age 23, weight 77, height 180. Subject results, status stable, test failed, sight normal, hearing normal. Subject has shown no changes in memory following experimentation. Further intensive experimentation will be carried out following recovery. End of report. So there are these test subjects. Maybe maybe the fact that like you're in this dreamscape is because you're like sort of coping with the world. That's not creepy. That's not creepy. It's not creepy at all. It's not creepy at all. 
Oh, why their eyes? Why their eyes like that? Oh, it's the pool rooms. All right. Maybe, maybe the, um, maybe every stage is supposed to be more like a, like the dreamscape of the subjects and we're just like exploring these dreams. Maybe we're like supposed to be a therapist. I feel like that's what like the game is going for. Now what's this? All right, this is my this is what I think is going on. We're probably supposedly like a therapist for these patients that passed with like experiments, obviously like less than ethical experiments. And maybe like exploring these dreamscapes is supposed to be like how their psyche was when they like passed on right before they passed on. Yeah, I think oh, this is really nice music. Oh, this is- dude, this is really nice music. I think I prefer this one out of like all the- all the um, other music so far. Yeah, I think out of all the places that I could get lost in, out of like all the stages we've seen so far, the pool rooms is definitely gonna be like one of the most relaxing ones. I don't think there's ever been like a spooky pool rooms like so far in the back rooms like games that we've played. They tend to be like really relaxing, don't they? Or at least they tend to be more like in the like not horror part-ish. All right. Damn, dude, he's really this dev really knocked it out of the park with the ambient um, music with this. No, there's I there hasn't really been any spooky stuff chasing us, like as I said before, Gravy. It's mostly just like exploring these dreamscapes. There's like some small puzzles here and there. Although I did get lost with like one puzzle for like half an hour because I'm kind of dumb. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> you get, hopefully these pool rooms aren't like chlorinated and you probably have like really, really wrinkly like skin if you were like hanging around in them for this long. Wasn't Enemoyopolis spooky? Mm, the locker area in Enemoyopolis was sort of spooky. But like the pool area itself wasn't like scary, you know. The pool area in Enemoyopolis was more like an introduction, wasn't it? And that's where we came from. I think this way was the. Well, what is this? I have not been here yet. I think, I think personally, Animo for Animoyopolis, that was like a good balance with, actually no, Animoyopolis and Lost Tapes. Apart from like the first stage in Lost Tapes, uh, Lost Tapes had a really, really good ambient like scare factor, you know? Nothing was really chasing you. But um, I think that's a good example of like, uh, of like the back rooms, I guess, liminal space horror. Animoyopolis was probably like the perfect example. There was nothing like chasing you apart from like the the locker area but like it's just like this, this sort of feeling of like if something is there or not you know i think the complex too i was planning on playing the complex at some point but i think the guy's coming out with a new game on the 17th of this month so i might i might play those games back to back the complex had really really insane graphics by the way like actually crazy graphics This is new. Uh... Shit. <laughs> I was just talking about how relaxing this game was too. <laughs> Do I really have to go through here? 
Oh my god. Aw, oh, this sucks. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, I was relaxing too. I was having, oh, dude. I was like literally falling asleep to this game, and then this game has to fucking throw this shit at me. Oh no. I was <laughs> okay. Okay, you know th this is fine, as long as nothing fucking chases me. If nothing chases me, I will give the game the benefit of the doubt. Oh, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Oh no. <laughs> Blender game. I hope not. If something kills me, if something jump scares me, I'll be really, really pissed off. Cause that'll be like the antithesis of the game. It'll be like the antithesis of like the game was going for up to this point. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw a face back there. It's just the fucking leaves. I'm not actually psyching myself out. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. The, the path is pretty straightforward. You can't, like, go through the trees. But the flashlight's fucking useless, man. Oh, no. I just went backwards. Do I really have to go through there? No, do I really have to go there? Fuck. God damn it. All right. We're gonna go, we'll do what we did last time, we'll just hug the right wall. Okay, that's a dead end, I think. Wait, am I going in circles? I am. We'll keep on hugging the right wall. Can't go there. Oh, this place is actually so confusing. Oh, why can't they give me, like, nice music, at least? The pool rooms was so... <laughs> Fuck, dude. He, he definitely did this. He was... He was just giving us a false sense of, like, security right then and there. With the pool rooms, and then they have to pull the shit on us. Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's go hide here right now. I'm kind of sweating bullets right now. It's super hot, and I'm fucking nervous. Don't let me, please don't let me fall back into like the entrance again like last time. Because I have no bearings here. There's no mini map. Wait, is there a mini map? No, there's no mini map. Ooh, disc. Okay, that's, so we're making progress. The game isn't like changing stuff behind us. Like in the. Like in the uh, the normal back rooms, so I think I may be able to like just navigate through this just by hugging the right wall. No! <laughs> God damn it, dude! Wait, what? How did I end up here? Okay, hold on. I'll we'll hug the left wall, I guess then. Unless- wait, did I- did I explore everything? W was that it? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I explored everything, didn't I? Is there nothing else in this area? Okay, yeah, we got the disc, like last time. Is there nothing else here? Also, this flashlight is like actually kind of useless. It's not really doing anything. It feels like. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Hug the left wall. I think it just loops in on itself. I think it just leads to the floppy disk and then out. Yeah, we can't go through here. Uh, I can't go there. 
can go there. And then this is the exit? No, wait. Uh, shoot. Am I lost again? I think... I don't think there's any way you can go after that. Because it just looped. It just looped. I was literally looking, I was hugging the left wall the entire time. Alright, hold on. We got two floppy disks. Let's go put them in the computer. <gasps> Wait, we didn't go up there. I think you're supposed to go up there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, where's that computer? Let me let me find the computer. Yeah, at least we <laughs> at least we get to relax here for the most part. What if this entire place is just me, like, all this water is me from, like, sweating non-stop after being in that area? Okay, hold on. Let me find where that place was. I think it was here. Yeah, it's right here. Go put it in here. Examination report, 1994. This is earlier. BD, a sex female, age 26, weight 51, height 157. That is comatose. Subject has entered a comatose state following experimentation. Subject is non-responsive to all forms of stimuli administered. Subject will be monitored closely. Saw that one. Saw that one. Okay, I bought this one. This is completely corrupt. U two N five. Hmm. Great. <laughs> I got a corrupt floppy disk out of my entire time exploring that area. All right, let's go check that out one place out. I think that might be the final area. It was this way? No, uh, I think it was this way. No, it's not the way. Alright, hopefully the game won't like the worst for a loop like it did last time. If you grab all the remaining letters from the summary and find a YouTube video, with that as a video ID, you get Rick Ashley's <laughs> Rick Astley's hit song. You know, maybe it would. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, actually. It's like another layer, floating layer of water. This feels like a public pool area, doesn't it? Only one way to go. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. I'm at the end. Oh, this isn't a real backrooms game without the end. Uh oh. Okay. At least it doesn't have that weird, like creepy monster from the um the other game that I spent so fucking long in. Password? Okay, so we have to look for a password. Maybe it will. Who knows? Damn dude, this is just like my actual library. Endless, like, rows of nothing. Is it getting darker? No, it's just really, really long. What was that game that we played before, though? Was it- it wasn't Lost Tapes. It was, um... It was one of the Backrooms games. Oh, it was Escape the Backrooms, that was it. Escape the Backrooms had the- the library monster that I spent, like, 30 to 45 minutes on. Am I getting anywhere? Am I getting anywhere? 
Wait a minute. This this is looping. This is looping. Yeah, this is definitely looping. Okay, maybe there's a puzzle here. Okay, that's definitely we're not getting anywhere. Maybe one of these shelves has it? I mean, at least it's not creepy music, but damn, dude, the fact that there's no music at all. Oh! Oh! Balloon ending. Childhood memories, they're always so far away. Wait, that's it? Wait, that's it? That's it? Well, they did, they did say that there's multiple endings in this game. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I, I guess that's that. Uh, I would check out the other endings, but I'm like, I'm like tired and spooked out from that other area. So if you guys feel like you want to check out the the other the other endings, then feel free to download the game yourself. I wonder what would have happened if I checked the other floppy disks actually. Ah well, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't supposed to be a long a long-ish stream. I just wanted to do some some funny exploration. So I mean we did that just that. So let's get out of here so I can stop making the static blow off into your into your ear. There we go. There we go, have it. That was within the back rooms. <laughs> that was a lo loss with the stream ending. We actually got pretty close to that, didn't we? <laughs> the fact that I had a key in my inventory this entire time and didn't really know. I don't know, there could have been some improvements with that game, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with that, what it was. I think I probably could have ended that stream or the game like half an hour earlier if I didn't get lost with the stupid key in my inventory, but... <laughs> Yeah, that game was cool unlike the stupid ass weather we're having right now. I'm actually like sweating. I have to go shower actually. It's like It's like 70 77 78 Fahrenheit right now. I'm dying. I need to hydrate actually Well, I guess that'll that'll do it at least. I need to get water actually. I need to get ice water Ice water and a cold bath. Oh cold shower. Oh really helpful mm, Let's see Let's go raid Let's go raid Syphy. Yeah, let's go raid Syphy. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me on this last minute stream again, as usual. I'm, I apologize once again that it was very, very last minute, very late night. But hopefully, uh, by Monday, I'll get back to my normal, uh, regularly scheduled Guerrilla streams at 11.30. <laughs> I'm really glad that you guys could hang out with me on this weird journey of a liminal space game but i liked it i really liked it there were some spooky moments but you know it wasn't in your face there was no jump scares it was just all ambient atmosphere and i really just respect the fact that there's like games like this i'm gonna find more games like this i'm gonna like check the steam store and hopefully find more games similar to this and nmoiopolis before the steam sale ends and if you guys have any suggestions too uh, for any games in general i do have a link uh i think right now below me yeah yeah uh down below I have a link for suggest a game. So if you guys have any games, not just limited to liminal space, but like in general, feel free to suggest it. And I'll take a look at it. And I'll try to grab it before the Steam sale is over. 78 is okay to me. Uh, I mean, I live in a relatively normal-ish weather place. It's just that when the summer hits, it's warmer than usual. But because I'm so used to like normal weather, if I get to any place that's extreme, I'm just dying inside. Already suggested. All right, you feel free to double suggest it. If I see more than one suggestion, I'll I'll, I'll add more weight to the suggestion. But as usual, thank you, thank you again, you guys. Um, you guys are cool. You guys are awesome. I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm really wondering why uh, people in my time zone would be up at this time. But maybe you guys have like a a reason for me for being, like for me, I, I just have insomnia. 
I'm, I'm just weird like that. That's why I stream at these weird times. But I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. If you guys want to, uh, feel free to follow me here on Twitch and on Twitter. It really helps me out. Uh, I don't stream... I don't announce my streams in advance usually, but I will usually stream at 11.30 p.m. PST and I'll announce them on Twitter and on Discord. If you guys want to join our Discord or follow me on Twitter. And that should do it. I mean, let's go raid Syphy. Raid Syphy. Oh, we never got to suggest. We never got to suggest game thing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there's the Google Docs form too. If you guys want to suggest a game, I'll definitely take a look at it um, tomorrow morning when I'm more awake. Not right now. I'm gonna need to go shower and sleep. All right, let's set the raid up. And yeah, make sure you guys stay hydrated, uh, stay cool, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Good night.